If you like things easy and clean, you're gonna love the dash layout on the Chateau. I'm gonna show you where all your controls and switches are and how to operate them. Let's start with the center console. On the bottom right, you'll see an HDMI port to mirror your smartphone on your radio display screen and a USB charger to keep all your gadgets running. You have two 12-volt DC outlets for things like GPS, phone chargers, and radar detectors. The HVAC controls are pretty straightforward. You have your temperature dial and your AC vent and defroster selection. Just to the left is where you select your fan speed. Moving to the steering wheel and steering column. Along with selecting your gear, there's a button on the end of the stalk that activates the tow haul mode for when you're trailering. The stalk on your left is for your wipers, bright lights, and directionals. On the steering wheel itself, you'll find your cruise control. The on-off switch is on the left, while the set, resume, and coast buttons are on the right. The switch for the hazard lights is mounted on top of the steering column. The gauge layout has your tachometer on the left with the oil pressure gauge below. The speedometer is on the right with your voltmeter below. In the middle, your fuel gauge is top left with the temperature gauge sitting next to it. Right below those gauges are your odometer and trip meters. The trip meter reset stalk is directly below the speedometer. A few more switches, knobs, and buttons sit to the driver's left. On the dash are your parking and headlamp controls, along with your dash light dimmer knob. The mirror adjustment, along with the heating option, is mounted here. On the armrest are the door lock and window controls. Also on the right, at about knee level, is the emergency start button. For more owner's resources, visit ThorMotorCoach.com.